Liam, uh, firstly, did you enjoy the break? Was it welcome to recharge? To get uh, again? Hi, it was nice to get some time off, obviously. When you've got a couple of kids, it's not much of a break sometimes, but it was nice to just get away for a, a few days. How much are you enjoying uh, your football this season and a team that's, that's going really well at the moment? No, I think everyone's enjoying sort of being around the place as well. Obviously, when you're doing well and results are good, it brings confidence and everyone's sort of happy. Happy to come in, happy to put in the work, you know, and just enjoying pretty much getting the results and being in about. How much you look forward to a big cup game this weekend? Well, every season, you know, everyone knows how big the Scottish Cup is, and it's, it's the main one. Everyone's going for it, and everyone's at the start, everyone believes they've got that chance, so everyone's sort of looking forward to the game. We know we've got a tough draw. Obviously, a home draw is a massive, massive thing in this competition, so we're looking forward to it. Manager was saying there that you know you've proven already you can beat the top teams in this country. That will give the belief to everyone in the squad that if you can get past this round, that you can have a really good goal at the competition this season. No, definitely. I mean, obviously, the big teams in the country, everyone expects them to get to your your finals, your semi-finals. So, if we've already proved that we can beat them, hopefully we can sort of get to those stages of the of the tournament and have that sort of shot. And you look at you know the, the December run, the manager's one manager of the month for December, which shows how well it went. Does it, is there that feeling that the squad is just getting stronger with every month that passes at the moment? Definitely. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like win, winning games sort of breeds confidence, and we sort of take, try to take that in, in each game. So obviously, December was a was a massive month. There's a lot of games, and we done well to get sort of through it how we did. Gary McKay Stevens now signed on until the end of the season. What did you feel he added in his sort of cameos across December? Oh, you, everyone knows sort of guys, especially in Scottish football. You know how good he is, and when you see him out in training. He, he's he's brilliant. You know, especially close up. So he's going to add a lot to the squad. You know, whatever the gaffer decides to play, he's so, definitely going to. Definitely going to add, he's brilliant. Is that the first sort of time you've seen him up close in terms of like training? Because everyone's obviously known what he's capable of doing. doing. There's been various viral clips of him over the years. <laughs> there's been plenty. We were watching some of them on YouTube before. <laughs> uh, no, I think he, he came up one, once when I was in Inverness when I was younger. He was up for a few weeks, but obviously it's different now. You know, he's had a, such a good career. It's, he's seen him close up, it's brilliant. You know what's happened in the 2014-15? Uh, cup final with yourself, but over the years, has the Scottish Cup been good to you, or what's been your experiences? Yeah, apart from that, I'm I'm not too sure. I, I, it's one of them things you sort of forget along the way, and every season sort of, sort of roll into the next. But you know, it's, like I said before, at the start, everyone believes they can do something like that. I'm sure that at the start of that season, we never thought we'd ever win the Scottish Cup, but it just shown over the past sort of ten years that's things can happen, you know, and smaller clubs get the chance to win it. And we're obviously, I believe, a much bigger club than we were in 2014 at Inverness, so it's a massive opportunity. Is there still a different, a different feeling in a Scottish Cup tie than a... a obviously, because you, know you know that you've only got one chance in it, there's no sort of next week, so you just have to leave it all out there. Couple of draws against Dundee so far this season. Is you've been practicing the penalties for this one? Right? <laughs> I think before any, you always pr try to practice something, don't you? But obviously we were disappointed, probably with both both draws in the end. But it's another game. They know it's a one-off game. We know it's a one-off game. So anything can happen.